Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to enter recovery mode on your iPhone or iPad. Now recovery mode is very important for a number of things. For example, if your iPhone or iPad isn't working correctly, then you may need to restore it to its factory settings. Or maybe if you're having trouble installing a software update and going into recovery mode can help you to do this for your um, PC or Mac. So, let's get straight into it. Now today I have a number of devices here to show you how it's done on different devices. So we've got the iPhone 11 here, we've also got the iPhone 7, we've got the iPhone 6S, which I'll show you in a moment, and also the iPad Air 2. Now for this procedure you'll just need your iOS device and you'll also be needing a lightning cable so that you can plug it into your Mac or PC and uh, if you don't have a lightning cable it won't go into recovery mode so you definitely do need this for this process. So we'll start off with the iPhone 11. So we'll plug it in to Lightning. There we go. And all you need to do is quickly press the volume up, volume down, and then hold down the power sleep wait button until you see the recovery mode screen. So we'll do that now. Volume up, volume down, and then hold down the sleep wait button. And then keep holding that until you see the recovery mode sign. So even once it reboots and you see the Apple logo, make sure that you keep holding that button until you see recovery mode. So just let it go into that mode, keep holding the button and do not release it, otherwise it won't go into recovery mode. And there you go, once you see the screen, you can release the button and you can see it says this screen, support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore and you'll see a screen similar to this. Now on your iOS device versions you will see this screen, but on some older versions it will have the iTunes logo instead. So now that's how you do it on the iPhone 11, let's take a look at how you can do it on the iPhone 7. Now the iPhone 7 has its own way of doing it, different from the rest of the iPhones and iPads, so I'll show you that now. So you'll need to plug it into Lightning once again. And then you'll need to hold down the volume down button and the sleep wait button and just once again continue holding it until you see the recovery mode screen so we'll do that now hold down the volume down button and the sleep wait button and it will reboot continue holding even once you see the apple logo until you see the same screen as the iphone 11 is showing so we'll just continue holding that now it may take a little bit longer on the iphone 7 due to its age We'll just keep holding, continue holding, and then we see the recovery mode screen as well. And you can see it looks pretty much identical to the one seen on the iPhone 11 right now. So now we'll take a look at how it's done on the 6S, and then we'll look at the iPad. Okay, so now we have the iPhone 6S here, and as you can see, the iPhone 7 is still in recovery mode. Now for the 6S and older, um, with the physical home buttons, all you have to do is hold down the home button and the sleep wait button until you see the recovery mode screen. So what you have to do is just plug it in to um, power via lightning and then hold down the home button and the sleep wait button until you see the recovery mode screen. So we'll just continue holding even once the Apple logo shows just like before. So continue holding, may take a little while once again due to its age. And there we go, uh, we can see it has the recovery mode screen. Uh, and actually if you do leave it in recovery mode for a little while it will switch off like the iPhone 7 does here and it may reboot itself. So if you don't uh, use it for a while it will reboot. Uh, but as you can see, the iPhone 6S is now on the recovery mode screen. So now let's take a look at the iPad Air 2.
Okay, so now for the iPad, um, it will use the same process as the iPhone 6S uh, if you have a physical home bu button model, uh, which we do have here with the iPad Air 2. So we'll take lightning out of the iPhone and we'll just put this on its side and we'll plug it into the iPad like so. And then we'll do the same pr process. So we'll just hold down the mechanical home button and the sleep wake button on it and we'll just hold that down until we see the recovery mode screen so we'll start doing that now we'll see the ipad shut off like so and we'll just let it reboot so continue holding even once you see the apple logo and there we go as you can see it has gone into recovery mode and it looks pretty much the same as the iPhone 6S. Uh, it says support.apple.com slash iPad slash restore this time instead of iPhone. But other than that, it is pretty much identical to the iPhone 6S. So yeah, that's all there is to um, putting your iPhone or iPad into recovery mode and this will allow you to restore it to its factory settings or just do a software update to help if it isn't working correctly. It is also worth noting that if you need to leave recovery mode manually for whatever reason, that you just hold down the power sleep wait button on the side or the top of the iPhone or iPad and it will reboot back into your normal iOS. And if you haven't made any adjustments um, with your Mac with restoring it to factory settings, it should have all your data still there, so you shouldn't lose any data in this process unless you reset it with your Mac or PC. Let me know if this was helpful in the comments below and if you'd like any more help with your iPhone or iPad um, because I'm happy to make some content about those. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.